hello and welcome to Crystal Crafts with Dee. Today I'd like to show you how I'm going to use up some of those leftover drills that I have from all my diamond painting kits that I've done um, over the past few months. So I have heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of leftover drills and I've been saving them up uh, to do just some little projects. And this project I'm going to do is um, I'm going to be doing coasters and a placemat. So these coasters here, they're just MDF, they're quite thin. Got them from Bunnings, they were only a couple of dollars each. And the placemat is the same stuff. And I got that from Bunnings as well for I think about four dollars, something like that. But anyway, you can pretty much get these uh, anywhere. So I have all my supplies laid out, it's so nice and neat. Um, so I'll just show you what I'm going to be using. Um, so I've got these guys, so I'll get them out of the way. I've got my paint brushes. I have my pencil. And I have paint. So the paint that I have here that I will be doing, I'm going to be painting I'll back up a little bit. I'll be drawing my design on my coasters and my placemat and then I will be painting them. Um, painting up the design and the reason why I want to do that is is um, I want to have some of that background color come through behind the drills. So you don't have to paint the color behind it. You can go straight on there. But I do like the effect that you have when you actually paint that background. So these are just your ordinary um, acrylic paints. They are just your Micador acrylic paints. You can use any kind of paints, but I find acrylics go on pretty good. So I'll be using those. And to stick them down, I'm going to use good old Elmer's glue and also I have these. So I like to use these because they are A4 adhesive sheets. So these are double sided sheets um, and it's sticky on one side, sticky on the other side and it just makes it so much easier to put your drills down. So it's a one A4 sheet and you can get these in all different sizes. You can get A5, you can get A6. Um, and you can use them on just about anything, but I find this is super duper handy. Um, you're not sort of mucking around with glue and all that sort of stuff. So when you use your self-adhesive sheets, you can just place your drill straight on and just keep going. When you use glue, they slip around all over the place. So when you put your drill onto your project, you have to place them with um, tweezers. I do both. It just depends on the project. But this one, I will probably use these sheets. I won't know until I dive in and see how I go. So these ones I got from, uh, oh, who did I get these guys from? I got this from craftonline.com.au and they do have several different sizes and good prices as well. So I have my glue and I have my leftover drills. So I'm going to be using a combination of your special shaped drills and your crystal rhinestones. So I'm just going to mix her up and see what happens. And of course lots and lots of normal drills. So I have no idea what I'm going to do at the moment but one thing I do know is I'm going to make Halloween themed coasters and placemats because I don't have any Halloween coasters I was actually originally going to do Christmas but I have lots of Christmas ones I just don't have any Halloween and I thought ooh, Halloween's coming up um, I might do some Halloween ones so getting started Number one, get your stuff. Number two, um, have an idea of what you want to put on there. So 
I'm doing Halloween, so I'm going to be um, looking at different pictures and I look at them on the internet, um, books, all that sort of thing. So being Halloween, I'm going to be doing pumpkins and bats and all that sort of thing. So I will be drawing them on. So I'll just draw a big pumpkin and then paint it and then put the glue over top and then drill it. I will be drawing them. There are different ways. If you don't want to draw onto your project, there's different ways of getting around it. You can um, trace cookie cutters. Um, you can hand draw it. You can do um, wavy lines. You can do rainbows. Um, you can use a ruler and just do some geometric like lines, boom, 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 boom. There's different ways of getting around it if you don't want to uh, freehand draw anything or if you want to give a nice little project to your kids. Give them the placemat and the coaster and have them draw something and then color it in and then you can just um, slap the tape over top and, and diamond paint it. So there's different ways of getting around it. So anyway, I will be choosing my designs. I will be drawing them on there and painting them and drilling them and I will be going... Pretty much step by step how I do that so um, I'm gonna clear this off and I'm gonna start drawing and I'm gonna start getting stuck into it okay so I have organized my design so I've gone through and I picked out a few that I liked and I've gone ahead and I've drawn my designs on my coasters so um, like I say you can either freehand draw you can use stencils you can use cutouts trace around them that sort of thing cookie cutters but i've chosen to go ahead and just freehand it um it's a little bit rough but you know it's no big deal and once i've done that i went ahead and painted that with acrylic paint so um i'll bring it up closer so you can have a look that's really rough um i didn't take my time I didn't make it smooth or anything like that and that's because you're not going to see those brush strokes or anything like that underneath the drill so it's just basically the reason why I paint the background is because the, the gaps in between your drills you can see the backing board so I like having that background color it's up to you if you want to um, paint it or not but I just find it looks a little bit better so um, I just did that very, very roughly, one coat, and if you can, I don't know if you can see, you can still see the um, pencil lines underneath it. Again, I'm not worried about that, you won't see it. And this little bit here was um, when I was painting it, doing the black, I dropped the paintbrush, and of course it didn't land on the black bit, it landed on the orange bit. And I did the same with um, another picture, um, black as well and it um i dropped the paintbrush on the ghost so really but anyway i've tried to sort of go over it a little bit but it doesn't really matter like i said it's going to be covered up with drills anyway so i've gone ahead and painted all of those and i've also painted the edging you can leave that if you want to i just think that it sort of finishes it off a bit better so now i am ready to put those drills on the canvas this is so exciting. I've gone through, I've picked out my colors, um, and I have my adhesive sheets, which I will be using instead of um, the glue. So if you use the Elmer's glue, you will need your tweezers to place each drill. If you use the adhesive sheets, you just drill it just like you do with a normal diamond painting. So. That's what I want to do. So um, I've gotten out my A4 sheet and I've cut my piece to size just like that. And I'll be sticking that over top. And then once that's stuck on there, you're off and running. You can get started with your drilling. So anyway, with this bit here, this takes me forever to oh, look at that first go. And all you do is you peel off that first layer and you very clumsily put it on top. Hopefully I'll get it right. There you 
go, that's not too bad. I'm just going to smooth that out nice and flat. I'm not concerned that I've missed the edges there. If you placed it and you've got like a big gap or whatever, um, I just, I did that with um, something before and I just used, um, you know, just your tape on a roll, double sided tape, just put her on top. And if your sheet goes too far one way and sort of goes off the edge, which I did before, I just fold it over and stick it onto itself so it's it's not that big of a deal so I'm just putting that on nice and firmly and then I'll try and peel that off okay so can see with that glare sorry about that I've got the tape on there and the piece that you pulled off originally this is actually really handy if you're doing like the placemat one because if you need to lean on it to get sort of to your design further up this is a really good sort of protective sheet to sort of pop down as you're working and you won't get sticky and you won't get your um, hands in your work so I will start drilling this one. I'm all ready to go. And um, yeah, we'll see how it turns out.
Okay, so all finished. Finished drilling in. Look at that sparkle. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Super duper happy with that. So when I was drilling, I did the outline first and then filled it in. And the reason for that is, is I chose to do this freehand. So there's two ways that you can actually do your drilling. You can do it row by row, like you do with your diamond painting, or you can do it freehand. So I did mine freehand. So if you go freehand, I highly recommend that you outline your picture and then fill it in. And um, I just find that that way you're keeping the actual shape of what you've got on there. Um, you're keeping the, the shape intact. So that's sort of my recommendation on that one. And um, with the background, I was just doing normal black background and I thought I might just add like some of those um, they're those uh, black AB drills. So I've added a couple of those like interspersed amongst the, the background on that one and you've just got that beautiful extra shine. So um, yeah, I love that. That turned out really, really well actually. So the those black ABs, that's these guys here. I don't have a lot of them, but um, yeah, I just kind of interspersed them and I think um, it, yeah, it was a good effect. So there is my little jack-o'-lantern. So I'm going to zoom you back out again. So there's one. I did, get him out of the way. So I did a bat. And with this one here, um, same sort of thing. Except for in the background, I have a lot of different oranges. I've got heaps of little tiny amounts of orange. And I really wanted the orange background. And I was kind of thinking, what am I going to do? I don't have, you know, enough to do the whole background. So I decided to do this sort of like kind of almost basket weave design. And I just used the colors in there. And that way it used up a lot of those little bits and pieces. It's still an orange background and it kind of makes the background a little bit more interesting. So that's my bat and my ghost. So again with the um, interspersing those black AB drills in the background and I did the basket weave so you can actually see the direction that I was drilling. And that's come up really nice as well. quite like that one. And last but not least, so I'm a little spider. And the same thing with your orange background. I just had so many different funny looking oranges and none of them matched. And I thought, well, I'm just going to chuck them all like that. And uh, I've got some little candy corns on the bottom. So all these pictures, I just, um, just drew them freehand. I try to keep them as simple as possible. Um, yeah, and I thought that worked out quite well. And then I did the placemat. So this placemat took me ages and ages to do. The background was what took forever. But I did this freehand as well. And with the writing, um, all I did was I divided my placemat in half and then um, I sort of measured how big roughly I wanted my lettering and then I just kind of spaced them out and then I just freehand drew them. So if you wanted to do writing and you didn't want to freehand it, um, you can get like stencils work or you can print it out off the printer and um, cut, it, cut them out stencils that way and trace around it. Or um, an easy way of doing lettering is doing your bubble writing and the bubble letters they um, they can be different sizes and all that sort of thing and um, you can get away with it that way so I just chose to freehand it and see what happens which they turned out okay and then I just sort of incorporated my spider my bat and my ghost and the candy corn but um, 
I knew I wanted to do a black background and I sort of didn't think that through because I had my bat and I had my spider and they get lost in the background so I thought oh well I'm gonna have a purple bat and a blue spider and then I thought I'd do the moon and a cloud as well and a little hat on top of the H so with the drills on this one I used I'll bring it up a bit closer so the lettering I used crystal rhinestones on those ones just your clear ones and I used um, yellow AB up the top there for the moon and I used the um, white AB diamond dots for the cloud just to give it like a little bit more sparkle and your background I did it the same I did that sort of basket weave sort of design and um, just interspersed some of those black AB drills so um, but that took me ages and it used up all my black drills I had heaps and now I don't but anyway it used them all up and that was the whole purpose of um, of doing this exercise was to use them up and make something that I can um, practically use so oh, I'm really happy how that turned out it turned out better than I expected actually so um, once um, once it's all drilled and everything, I will be um, sealing that with um, just the usual stuff that I use for my diamond paintings. And that is this stuff here. So that's your Mod Podge Super Gloss. And all I'm going to be doing, I just use my brush, dunk her in, slap, 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 slap dab off the excess and it's done and I reckon one coat will do it so um, that'll work very very well so there is my I put him over there my placemat and my coasters my little bat and my pumpkin so this is a nice fun little project I had a lot of fun doing this one it was relatively easy once I kind of nutted it out and um, yeah once it started coming up it um, yeah it just really took off so there you go there's an idea for using up your leftover drills and um, it worked thank goodness because I was a little bit worried but um, yeah just a nice quick and easy little um, project to use it up just in time for Halloween so I'm super duper wrapped about that so thank you so much for watching my video and I will catch you next time bye